Today we're doing a direct comparison of EVMux versus StreamYard. And we're gonna jump into both of these tools and I'm gonna give the differences that might better suit you. So here's the dashboard in StreamYard and we can essentially do three things here. We can create a live stream, create a recording, or create a webinar. And then here's the EVMux dashboard. If we click on create, it's a very similar thing. We can live stream, we can do a recording, or we can do a pre-recorded video. So let's open up the studio in both of these tools. So when jumping into the studio, both tools open a prompt to check your camera and microphone, and they look almost like identical, it's crazy. You can click on the settings tab and change your microphone and your camera, the camera resolution, and your backgrounds. Then click on enter studio, and this is what the studio dashboard looks like in each of these tools. This is EVMux. And this is what StreamYard looks like. So StreamYard does have a bit of a simpler interface. It just looks cleaner, almost like a Mac product almost. And EVMux has a lot more stuff going on. It's not that much more. It looks pretty simple to me. So StreamYard is the OG of streaming software, right? Especially browser-based. And they've been around longer than EVMux. So let's compare some of the features that StreamYard has versus what EVMux has. So both of these tools allow us to do live streams or screen recordings. So they both do that. Both tools allow us to present different things, like I can share my screen. Here's what it looks like when I want to share a YouTube tab. It looks really clean and easy. And I can do this same thing on EVMux. Both tools allow comments to be shown while you're doing live streams or recordings, which is pretty cool. Both of these tools can also display custom banners. Here's what it looks like in StreamYard and here's what it looks like in EVMux. So both of these tools are extremely similar so far. They both do exactly the same things. And again, guys, if at any point through the video you want more information on either of these tools, consider visit my affiliate links in the description for more info and free trials. All right, so one of the differences, let's talk about a difference that I found. So EVMux has what's called a marketplace, and I kind of like the sound of this. And what we can do here is we can install different apps in EVMux that do different things. For example, I can add a chat box or a viewer count or a giveaway tool or polls. And StreamYard does offer some of this stuff, like they have a built-in pull thing, a built-in giveaway tool. I don't think they have a QR code thing, or a Wheel of Luck game, or the YouTube video player. The Holy Bible, that's kind of weird. Overlay animations, live text. So they have a bunch of apps that we can add to the interface here. And StreamYard doesn't really have this feature, so that's one thing EVMux does have. One thing that's kind of cool too is they have built-in music. I kind of like this. Check this out. <laughs> I kind of like that. The crowd applause background music, they kind of have that in there. And I don't see that anywhere in StreamYard. I, you know, I've, I've been using this for about a year now because what I do is me and a bunch of my friends, we go live on games and we add a bunch of guests to it and we live stream it. It's actually pretty cool and fun. StreamYard has worked great for it for the longest time, but maybe it's time to give EVMux a try because it does all the same things. I can invite all the guests down here. I can add multiple cameras. I can share different screens. I can go live on vertical format. Say if I wanted to go live on Instagram, I could do that. It's crazy how this webcam is a hundred bucks and this webcam is a thousand dollars. It's just like, it looks a lot different. I don't know. I keep looking at that ugly webcam and it's like, God, I'm ugly. All right, back to the video here, guys. So some of the biggest difference takeaways is StreamYard feels super easy easy to use. I feel like the interface, if you are not tech savvy, StreamYard is probably going to be a better option for you because it just seems like so easy to figure out and it's it doesn't have as many features. Whereas EVMux has a little bit more going on, but I feel like the extra features might be cool. There's different overlays, backgrounds. We do have that in StreamYard. To be completely honest, guys, these tools are very, very, very similar. Let's take a quick look at pricing though. Maybe that'll break this up. Okay, so StreamYard pricing, if we pay monthly, the core plan is $25 a month and that's how you get 1080p recording or you can pay $49 a month and get 4k recording and EVMux pricing if we pay monthly it's $25 a month and also $49 a month $25 and $49 so they're priced the same too this this makes this even harder how about if we pay annually that's $19 a month at the basic that's $20 $19 $20 a month. So if you pay annually, you save a couple extra bucks. So these tools are extremely similar. They're pretty much the same pricing. I think it kind of boils down to what the interface looks like for both of these tools. If you like simplicity, complete simplicity, and you're not very tech savvy, StreamYard is the go-to. If you're looking for a little bit more customization, then I feel like EVMux is for you. And again, guys, I'll throw links in the description if you want more info. 
they are my affiliate links but from one creator to another just help me out here let me know in the comments what are you creating what type of videos are you doing interviews are you doing gaming videos reaction videos i want to hear from you this is my Streamyard versus ev mux comparison what is the better choice please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one